Hey everybody, Andrew Morpeth here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Yealink MVC300. It is a Microsoft Teams room system. Okay, and it's the smaller model. It's designed for a smaller room, so, you know, a focus room or a huddle room, um, up to maybe six to seven people. Okay, let's go and take a look at it. Now there are many vendors that have these sorts of solutions on the market. I won't be going over how they operate. Um, now Microsoft controls the software on those devices, so no matter what vendor or what model you buy, a Microsoft Teams room system will be running Microsoft uh, supplied software, basically. So experience wise, exactly the same. So where things differ between vendors and product lines, uh, is in the hardware and the form factors, cabling options, um, and some, some have vendor management uh, options as well uh, to manage all your devices, uh, and Yealink has one of those too. Most vendors will have a solution for various room types, so for example, you know, a small room or a huddle room, medium, large. This MVC300 device here is suited for sort of the small or huddle room up to six or seven people. Yealink's biggest systems are largely the same, it really just comes down to different video and different audio options to suit the room size, okay? All of these Microsoft Teams room systems are going to come with some type of compute. A lot of vendors use Intel Nooks, you know, some sort of mini PC that you can tuck in behind the screen or tuck in somewhere discreetly. And they all have these touch screens you can see here. And of course they all have an audio and video device and some sort of sharing ingest system which is this little guy here in Yealink's case. So let's talk a little bit more about the Yealink MVC300 offer here. So what that comes with is this, this touchscreen device and I really I really like this touchscreen device from Yealink. It is it's probably it's just a good size I think for one. It's quite discreet. Some other vendors have um, screens that are just pretty much obnoxious, right? They're, they're way too big. This is just a control panel to control the meeting. You don't want it to get in the way of the table or view of people. Okay, so in my opinion, this is a really good size. It is also very um, touch sensitive as well. It's using a capacitive touch screen. Um, very nice to use, similar to what you'd expect out of a mobile phone. I think A plus on that. Then comes to the peripheral devices. So Yealink uses this M-Share device, okay? So all of their room systems come with this. Now that's an HDMI and mini display uh, ingest so that you can share content into the meeting. And what I also like is that it does actually support wireless sharing, okay? But you need to purchase uh, an additional dongle to make that happen, okay? But it connects via the same device. So this handles all ingest uh, or sharing into the meeting uh, itself. For those interested, uh, the dongle that you need to purchase is a WPP20 and I'll list all the stuff at the bottom of this video post. Now the next two devices are pretty important. One is the CP900, so this is a audio device, so it's a speaker and microphone. And I won't go into the specifics about this device, um, but I have reviewed it separately. I will again put a link to that in the bottom. So this is just a, what I like to call a hockey puck style device and it provides the microphone and speaker and some controls so for example volume up volume down buttons uh, mute and ability to end start and end the calls the camera that comes with the MVC 300 is this UVC 30 device these come in two different options so this one here is for meeting room specifically because it has a wide angle camera at 120 degrees. The other version's better for using at your PC. So if you are gonna purchase this separately uh, for that use, then make sure you get the slightly less um, wide angled option. This little guy also supports auto framing. It has electronic pan tilt zoom. Uh, and you can zoom in up to three times. It also, if you're going to be using it on your PC, supports Windows Hello uh, sign-in, so that's face recognition, basically. So it's quite a cool little device and very small. I said I wasn't going to look at the software itself, but one thing I just will call out related to the camera is that Microsoft now supports the camera controls directly from the Microsoft Teams room interface. So you can see this little button down here. If I push that, uh, I can control the pan, tilt, zoom features of the camera directly from this touch panel, which is a great addition. In terms of the cable management for this device, uh, there is cable management in terms of it you know, locking the cables and making them secure so people can't uh, unplug them and mess with them, which happens a lot in meeting rooms. There isn't a single cable, I guess, between the screen and the table. Some of the other vendors have 
have got this down to a single cable, usually some sort of fiber optic cable, which just makes it a little bit easier, you know, from the cable perspective between the table and the screen. Uh, the more you have, the messier it can be. And yes, there are capping systems and things like that that sort that out. Uh, but it is it is nice just having that single cable. This device can require kind of up to three cables depending on what you mount where. So I will I'll post a, a link to the cabling diagram as well so you can have a look at that. Not the end of the world, other systems are the same. Uh, but as I mentioned, there are some that have kind of got this down to a fine art now. Um, some of the earlier systems didn't have this, but now they do, and I'm sure Yealink will improve things over time as well. Um, overall, I think this is a really good device. Um, I would certainly um, consider it. And one thing I think Yealink has over a lot of their competitors is that they can be a single ecosystem for, for any team's device really, whether, it, whether it's phones, uh, conferencing, Microsoft Teams room systems, uh, they do it all. And they also have a management platform, cloud hosted, um, that you can basically look after all of the devices you have deployed in rooms or even on people's PCs. So that's a, a real bonus if you buy into the Yealink. Uh, ecosystem. Okay, so that's the Yealink MVC300. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions about the review, just post them below. Otherwise, have a good rest of your day.